What's up everyone and welcome back to my Ninja Gaiden 2 playthrough. We're gonna start off right after we picked up all the stuff from uh, Kuriha's room, I think that was her name. Um, we've got the Windmill Shuriken, which is a pretty cool weapon. Uh, Talisman of Rebirth, dynamic chest, so you can also get 50,000 essence out of this. And Spirit of the Devils to increase your Nimpo slots by one. And what you see right here is an optional fight. I'm not sure if you can get the claws after you do this fight anymore. I'm not sure if you can get them. So there is there's no real reason to do this fight except for essence or karma. But, well, I just decided to do it, so... And now we're jumping back to the save point. And after you pick up everything from the room, and you go back into this big area, you're gonna find a new set of enemies, which is really big, really hard. It's, it's really one of, one of the hardest fights in the game. And also, it's really messed up. I think it's it's just messy. You, you don't see anything at all. You don't even know what the fuck's going on sometimes. And everything you can do is just spam Nimpo at the Ice Ninjas and hope they all die. And once they're gone, it's only the resets who's left. Well, it's still three of them, so. It's still gonna be hard, but it, at least it's not as messy anymore as with the ninjas, so try to take them out first. And there you see I used my Spirit of the Devils to increase my Nimpo slots. And this will of course also refill all of your Nimpo. And that way I can use up to 9 Nimpos at, at this fight. Not including my Devil May Mushrooms. And that's pretty fine. So I switched over to the Void Nimpo just to shoot one of them into nothing. Which is really cool. And the reason why I do that is because it deals some pretty good damage to the Resetsus. And yeah, now it's a little bit tricky. So you gotta choose what you want to do but I recommend using the Void Nimpo right after each combo and yeah there are just I think two ways to fight Resetsus and the first one would be go into melee combat close quarter combat dodge their attacks and do some fast counters And the other way would be to get some distance between you and them and try charging ETs or maybe UTs. But this is a little bit difficult because you're gonna have three of them at once. And they really like to use their their wind blades nimpo. I think you can call it a nimpo. Or maybe just a wind blades attack, whatever. And that's, of course, gonna interrupt your charging, so... And you see, sometimes they're really calm, so... It's a little bit weird. <laughs> sometimes they just don't do anything to you. And sometimes they're going completely nuts on your ass. But, if you've been watching my Chapter 10 playthrough, you know, I'm pretty pretty good at fighting these guys who took a Sarigama, so this wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. And actually, I was having nightmares about this fight on Mass Ninja the first time. <laughs> because I've been watching some videos on YouTube, and I have seen some people going totally nuts. And you also see you can't go back now. So, there is a gauntlet to this. And don't forget to shoot the targets. 
You will not be able to come back. You can refill your Nimpo and your and your health right there. And there's also a chest with red essence coming up, so for the next few fights you can also use Nimpo. A lot of Nimpo, I think it's at least three of your Nimpo slots will be refilled. Maybe even more. So you can use some Nimpo for the next few fights. And I will do I will do so as well, but not because I know that there's a chest coming back. I didn't know. But because this is really tough. This is really hard. You're gonna have a lot of those ice ninjas coming up at once. And you're just gonna nuke your ass with ice shurikens. It's not even funny. And I've been so confused by this because you fight these guys for eternity in this chapter and in this fight and also the next few fights coming up somehow I managed to to fail at these fights but it's basically the same enemies and I think the reason why I managed to fuck it up so bad is because you never fight so many of them at once so there's basically like no time where you don't have an ice shuriken stuck to you when you fight more than like three of them at once. And that's pretty tough. And the first few fights in this chapter you're going to, you're going to have only like two of them at once or maybe three. And I think that's why this was giving me so much trouble, so... I think I kinda underestimate these guys, because... I went pretty... pretty good on them so far. I did a pretty good job of fighting them, but... Yeah. Somehow I, I think I underestimate these guys. Because I was doing such a good job at fighting them. And then they start kicking my ass and I'm wondering what the hell is going on, so... I think that's that's the reason there's just so many of them at once now for these few fights coming up. Or maybe I'm just an idiot, I don't know. <laughs> maybe I'm just nervous because of the gauntlet, I don't want to redo the resets of fight. But I think for this gameplay right here, the reason why I fuck it up so bad is because because Harigama's not the best weapon to take care of these guys, I think. Dragon Sword, I should have sticked with the Dragon Sword. But I wanted to use the Kusarigama a little bit. Especially for the to fight. And you see me totally messing things up here. I just can't get anything done. Watch out for these guys when they doing a combo. The last hit usually will be a grab attack where they will make their own arm explode and it deals some serious damage. So I usually try not to counter their attacks but instead I try to evade them, dodge the shit. And I uh, switch over to the Dragon Sword. Uh, I remember I had to do this fight sometimes. I had to try it a few times. And I decided to go back to the Dragon Sword. It's just. I don't know. Oh, there, yeah, magic went right through the wall. That's nice. And yeah, I think the. The Dragon Sword UT just totally destroys them. Also, watch out for the mages. They like to sneak up on you and pull out some really fast grab attacks that are very devastating. And you see me just spamming ETs and UTs one after another because if you don't use guillotine throws that's basically the only way to take care of these guys. 
And yeah, like I said, this is all the gameplay footage by myself. And I didn't I didn't use the guillotine throw at that time. I just refused to do it. <laughs> I don't know why. Well, it's not like I've, I refused to do, but I didn't think about using it. But like I said, that that changed. So we're gonna have another big gauntlet coming up, and you can't go back to the Muramasa shop. Oh, this area is also really cool. Nice little throwback to Ninja Gaiden. <laughs> Only this time we're going down into the water. Um, yeah, what was I saying? Um, yeah, there's a long gauntlet coming up. Well, it's not too long, but you can't go back and restock stuff with more markers. And this fight also went pretty, pretty bad for me. I don't know. Oh my god, I'm a little bit tired. I'm sorry. So there is no ice ninjas here. You can just relax and take care of them. Do some XXY to delimit them really fast. I think this is a pretty good way to take care of them. Because if you don't want to go for OTs, you will realize that these guys can take some damage before they die. It's really it's really bad. Izuna drops of course will deal some massive damage but not kill them. If you haven't damaged them before. ET Flying Swallow is also something nice to do. The XXXY is also really strong. Likes to behead them quite a few times. And there the auto aim went nuts. <laughs> oh yeah, and the, the aerial combo that XXX, while you have an enemy up in the air like the XY, you lift them up and then you follow with the XXX. Also has very high deliberate. It's it's really strong. Oh, come on now. We almost got it done. So there are a few combos to take care of these guys, but the best way is to use the UT. Especially the Dragon Sword level 4 UT is just insane. And I think now I'm making a mistake. Yes. I can hear some archers and I'm I'm going back. Uh, pay for it. But good thing I restocked my shurikens. They will always come in handy, so remember to refill them whenever you can. They are always useful. And don't forget you can get the essence out of every enemy that you kill with the Ice Shurikens. And there we go with another set. Let me switch over to my Shurikens. It's more comfortable. Oh, there I used the Windmill Shuriken. Oh, because... Yeah, I, I figured they would come in me like this, like in a line, and I thought, man, this is the perfect chance to use the Windmill Shuriken. Because it will go straight through all of them. And I was hoping for a UT, because they would have killed all of them at once. But I only got an ET, so I delimbed a few of them. And that combo is just so cool. <laughs> XXXY. I love that combo. It's, it's just badass. And there's one more archer I can hear. Ooh, flying Swallow took care of that guy. That was pretty ninja style. Oh yeah, oh yeah I remember this. Is this the part where they are hiding in the grass? 
Yes, it is. And I don't know what the hell I was thinking when I did this. But I just decided to kill them with the Aishuken. And I thought there would be some more of them and I wanted to throw Aishuken at them as well. Trying to figure out if there's somebody else, but why the heck don't you use the regular shurikens, man? <laughs> and also, why use I shurikens to kill them? They are lying on the ground, so you can just use flying swallows to take care of them. And it's only two of them, so it's no, it's nothing. It's really nothing. And don't forget the mages have this little AR pattern to them. If you keep them off camera, they're not gonna use their magic. This also applies to these undead mages, so... Go on ahead and make use of that. This will make life easier. And you can hear one more of them trying to teleport. He's kinda stuck, I guess. And that's it. And the Isuna drop will actually kill the undead mages. But not the undead ninja and ice ninja. And there we got a few more of them. I'm just gonna use my Nimpo now. Got them all staggered. Gather, I'm sorry, not staggered, but gather up in one place. And I was hoping for a little bit more blue essence. So, I was kinda disappointed, but it's okay. And goodbye, mister. Oh, they're waiting for me. <laughs> Killing one of them right away. And the essence, the essence just refused to come at me. Whatever. And Flying Swallow misses. I wanted to kill that guy, which I just... Use the ET to drop to drop him down onto the ground and whatever. Everything's working out fine. Everybody's happy. We're all friends, aren't we? But don't get confused here in this area, man. So yeah, the next save point is not far away anymore. But the last fight is a pain. I, I hate this fight. It's just it's just annoying. Because you're gonna have those arches up the stairs. Not up the stairs, but on that platform. And a couple of undead ice ninjas. So. Let's see if things work out. ET. Oh man. There I didn't have time. And I take an arrow to the face. And I decided to use Limbo. Come on now, UT. Oh well, only one of them. And lucky flying swallow there. And also used one grain, because you know, I don't want to redo all of this. It's just stupid. Oh man, I just hate it. I just hate it. They will never let you get close. Sometimes it's just it's just insane. These guys just have too fucking good aiming, I think. However, I think it's a total of four of them, so you're gonna have two and two respawning. And we're also at the end of the second part for this chapter. Let's see if I can manage to kill these guys. <laughs> I probably can, because otherwise this wouldn't continue. And that's it for the last guy. This is also the area where you'll find the Test of Valor 9, which is the last Test of Valor. And yeah, that's it for part 2, chapter 11. I hope to see you guys back in part 3 and hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was fun to watch. 
and see you later.